Welcome back. This is what the the next question. I now want to have for to be classified data. I explained in one way classified data as well as in our table. All the contents, whichever the contents we use uh, more, which can be identified in the, from the table with very simple. In a simple manner, all the contents uh, appears at a glance in a particular table, and just by referring the table, we can easily get the information of the entire the entire one-way classification or two-way classification. So, for two-way classification, all the points, uh, almost all the points, uh, which will be appeared in a particular table, and uh, uh, which we can uh, identify. With the with the help of the table, we can identify all the points, all the important points. So that is called uh, a ANOVA table for two-way classified data. So when I consider, I write the one after another all the all the columns. Source of variation. Sum of squares. Degrees of freedom. Means among squares converting a matrix. And the F ratio. This is what the columns are considering here. And the label of the ANOVA table. Okay, so in which source of variation? First of all, treatments. The mainly you have to analyze treatments and varieties. There are the two particular two particular sources, and then other, and then total. So what are the treatments? Sum of squares. It is very, very simple. SSV. Sum of the squares due to the varieties. SSV and error. SSV and total. TSS. Is it clear? Now, degrees of freedom. It is for treatments. K minus 1. Varieties. H minus 1. Error. K minus 1 into H minus 1. And total. KH minus 1. N minus 1. Capital N minus 1. Capital is equal to k h means sum of squares. I write the formula s square t capital square t s s t divided by k minus one capital s square b for varieties it is s s v divided by h minus one right and for error s square e is equal to s s e divided by k minus one into h minus one that's all and the f ratio. For treatments, F T is equal to S square T divided by S square E. That's what at a glance we can easily identify what is F statistic based on the combinations, all the combinations. And similarly, that is F T is equal to S square T by S square E, which follows F K minus 1, K minus 1, H minus 1 degrees of freedom. Right? And uh, for varieties, F D. S square B divided by S square E, which follows F distribution with the H minus 1 and K minus 1 into H minus 1 degrees of freedom respectively. So, this is what the ANOVA table for two way classified data. I quickly before all the points came. Source of variation there are three, mainly two treatments, varieties, and then other, and then the total. And some of the squares, SST, SSV, and SSC and DSS. Some of the squares due to the treatments, some of the squares due to the varieties, some of the squares due to the other, and total sum of squares. Degree of freedom for SST, K minus 1, for varieties, SSV, H minus 1, for SSE, 
K minus one H minus one for P S S K K K H into K H minus one capital N minus one mean sum of squares S square B S S B divided by K minus one S square B S S B divided by K H minus one S square B S S C divided by K minus one H minus one come to the F ratio for two factors. Two in two way classification data for two factors, two null hypotheses have, have been formed, and uh, with the help of the null hypothesis, now we have to uh, calculate two F statistics separately, two test statistics, that is F ratios separately. F t S square t divided by S square e follows F k minus one, k minus one, h minus one degrees of freedom respectively, and F b S square b by S square e which follows F h minus one and k minus one, h minus one degrees of freedom respectively. So this is the this is the this is what that ANOVA table for two wave classification data and we make sure all the points you see whatever the points we have calculated all the points are there in this particular if you put the values S S P is equal to this S S P is equal to this and K minus one is equal to this S S P is equal to this F T is equal to this like uh, if you write the values then uh, you can easily identify what all the values we have calculated. At the end, in a particular table, we can easily identify all the values, each and every particular point, each and every particular point that lands in the table, we can easily identify. So that is the reason why ANOVA table is a very crucial point, crucial part, to which uh, to refer our entire two-way classification in a particular table. So that is what the purpose of the ANOVA table. So ANOVA table for two-way classified data is this. Hope you understand. This is what the end of the two-way classification. So these are all the points we have, many number of points we have learned, statistic, mathematical model, essential subject model, uh, uh, statistical and all subject data, expectation of clear sum of squares, uh, mean sum of squares, etc. Degrees of freedom, many all the points, uh, all the points we have read in this uh, and this is what the two way classified data. Hope you understand. Thank you.